<laughs> Jurisdiction over the parties, the minors, and the subject matter. Uh, there was no notice and opportunity to be heard? Yeah. Notice of the hearing was not served on the respondent by personal service? Yeah. Service by mail or service by publication pursuant to court order? Yes. The respondent did not receive actual notice of the hearing? Mm -hmm. The respondent did not receive actual notice of the hearing in 2011? Oh. Mm. Did you have personal and subject matter jurisdiction to be able to issue the protection order on July 8th of 2011? Mm -mm. No. The stipulation order said subject matter jurisdiction is regulate. Yes. Personal jurisdiction is obey. Yes. That's what that says. Subject matter and personal jurisdiction. You did not have jurisdiction to issue a protection order in 2011. Mm-hmm. When you served me on Guam, you did not have subject matter and personal jurisdiction. When you reissued it after arresting me and serving me the disillusion at the same time, mm -hmm. you did not have personal and subject matter jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was uh, on probation, mm -hmm. unsupervised, yes, and the accusation of violating the protection order by a third-party healthy family in Clown County, you never had personal or subject matter jurisdiction to accuse me of violating your protection order. Now, mm -hmm. Brent, reissuing the protection order on June 15th of 2012, yes, did you have subject matter and personal jurisdiction? No. Mm -mm. Now, the stipulation and order was issued on November 29th of 2011. Mm -hmm. When did you get subject matter jurisdiction to regulate? Yes. The contact between myself as Mr. Budnick. Yes. And his wife and children. Yes. When you got the stipulation and order. Mm-hmm. When did you have the availability of violating my right to qualify for the expungement of my criminal record? You never did. Mm -mm. See, once my record was expunged, yes, you never had subject matter and personal jurisdiction to issue a protection order. Mm. Now, all of the protection order, no contact order, restraint provisions of diversion <clears throat> was in the jurisdiction of Guam. You as a court have never had subject matter and personal jurisdiction. When did you have subject matter and personal jurisdiction to issue the dissolution of marriage? Oh. When I... Uh -huh. arrived in Washington State on January 7th of 2012. Yes, you had subject matter jurisdiction to regulate the contact between Mr. Budnick, mm -hmm. his wife and children. Mm -hmm. When did you have personal jurisdiction? Yes, to issue any court order other than a no contact order. Mm -hmm. January 7th of 2011. The Superior Court of Guam ordered me to obey Washington State orders. Yes. These orders require subject matter jurisdiction and personal jurisdiction. Yes. You as a court... 